friends and subscribers, this is Julia and I'm in my garage today and we're going to be making a book binding press. Uh, C. Lemon made one uh, recently, well in a recent video that I saw, uh, using two cutting boards. So I've been wanting to do this for a while because I bought these in Canada last summer before we moved to Maryland. They're from the Dollarama. Uh, they're bamboo, they're two cutting boards exactly the same size, and I'm going to drill four holes in the sides, and then using the carriage bolts with some wing nuts, we're going to make it so that we can press the, books, the book together, okay? Alright, let's do this. So first things first, we're going to take the plastic off the cutting boards. Okay, so I have my two bamboo cutting boards, and let's see which, which sides are the better side. Okay, so these sides are the better sides. So we're going to push, put them together, and clamp them together so they don't move. Okay, so I'm going to use my fancy dancy triangle and I'm going to do, I'm going to guess about one inch. my holes marked and now I'm going to use my other clamps here to clamp it to the board so that I can drill through it. Let's get to it. Not horrible. Um, this side obviously looks so much better than that side though. But um, that's okay. I can clean that up. Um, get some sandpaper to make sure that the edges are smooth. And uh, yeah. So if I'd had this press done yesterday, I would have been able to put it in the middle, press it down so that the crease uh, where the seam was or is um, would be pressed tight and it would look folded better than it was. Um, just using my hands and folding it, it was st it's still good, but I mean, you could have a nice, clean, crisp edge um, on that once it was all stitched together, and um, then the book would have stayed closed and, and everything else, and it still would have been great. Not that it wasn't great, it was so much fun to do. And now that I have the book press, which I've been wanting to do for over almost a year now, um, I'll be able to do the other bindings that I want to do, where I can actually do leather covers and decorate and make it all like spiffy and make it like a, I don't know, a Harry Potter 
spells book or something like that. Who knows? I'll have to play around and see what I can do. So if anybody has any old leather jackets that they want to get rid of, let me know. I might take them off your hands. So that's my binding press for today. Uh, hope you had a good time. Hope you learned something and uh, share my videos with your friends and let's get these subscribers up. I'm up to 20. I'm so excited. Thank you for subscribing and uh, like my videos, leave a comment and uh, we'll see you back here again tomorrow.